Hello, long riders. Welcome back. In this video, we're going to teach you our version of a little blue winged olive nymph. So let's get to the vice and check this fly out. Welcome back, long rodders. Welcome to everything fly fishing. We're going to tie a little blue winged olive, our version. And you won't want to miss it. It's a really cool fly. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do. Make sure you use links below. We've added some new ones, Target, Bass Pro Shop, some other ones. You go click them links, do your shopping there, and we make some cash to help sustain this channel, make videos better for you. And wait till the end of this video. We'll talk more about this this nymph and procedures of fishing it so make sure you wait to uh, stay tuned to the end of this video so let's get on to the fly right now I'm going to start by debarbing a size 18 2x and the shank of this hook is really thick it's a nymph sprout it's like I think three times thicker than a dry fly one and this way we don't have to add no lead weight so we're going to debarb this because these flies are hard to get out when they're this small if you don't debarb them so to barb your hooks. We're going to tie in olive 70 denier thread. I'm going to run that all the way back to the bend of the hook. Now for the tail we're going to tie in wood uh, olive dyed wood duck and we're going to make the tail three quarters of the length of the shank of the hook because it's a 2x hook. So we're going to make it 3 quarters of the length of the shank of the hook and tie that in. When you're tying in this wood duck, you need very little amount, maybe five strands at the most. I tied five flies out of this one wood duck feather. You don't need much. Even when you're tying the legs, it's just a little sparse amount of fibers. Next, you're going to tie in some black. It's really thin ultra wire in the black, and this will be your rib. So you're going to tie this in, and we're going to start this just an eyelet gap away from the eyelet. This is where you form your head, and you're going to tie this in the whole length of the shank hook all the way back to where you started that tail so that you can rib the whole fly. Next, we're going to tie in some rabbit dubbing. It's olive rabbit dubbing, and it still has the guard hairs in it. So we're going to wrap that pretty tight and put it on. If you uh, don't want it as fuzzy, you can uh, wet your fingers to apply the dubbing. So we're going to apply that right up to about, I leave it about three quarter, well, a quarter of the way back the hook. Now we're going to throw a half hitch in here, let our wire, our thread hang, and start wrapping our wire the opposite way we wrapped our dubbing. This will make your, your rib stick out more, 
and it'll make the dubbing more secure and won't fray out later. Now you're going to take that wire all the way up into the thorax area. That'll help build bulk in your thorax. You're going to wrap thread on both sides of the wire and then just twist it like a helicopter and it'll snap off. Cover that wire up real well. Tie it down real well. Next, we cut a piece of uh, nymph skin. Um, I use this nymph skin. It's almost black, all black. We're going to use this, and we're going to cut it about a quarter inch wide. Peel the paper off. I'm going to tie this. And I like to turn the vise towards me so that I make sure I get the nymph skin right on top of the hook. You want it right directly on top of the hook so when you pull it over, it's on top of the hook, not the side, or you have to fuss with it. Make sure it's right on top of the hook. Next, we're going to use some of this olive ice dubbing. Uh, I think it's Whiting's Blend two, Number 2. And we're going to use, I think it's Sculpin Olive. But anyway, you're going to use olive ice dubbing. If you just buy olive ice dubbing, it'd be good. And uh, we're going to make that. We're going to put that on really loose onto the thread. Because we want the frays hanging out around that area. On this small hook, make sure you don't crowd that eye. Make sure you let, leave plenty of room to make a head with and still tie on the fly. Now you come in here right up against that thorax area and you're going to tie in about five strands of that wood duck, that uh, olive dyed wood duck to represent legs. And you want the legs just to go hair past the thorax. And you're going to tie in one towards me another set towards you and they should be out on both sides of the hook the nip Now, you want to trim, trim off your access as close to that thread without cutting your thread as possible. You don't want to cover up the eyelet with this leftover wood duck feather, so trim it back as close as you can. Tie them down.
Now you want to pull that nymph skin over. What you're going to do is pull it over, hold it with your left hand down, hold it down, and then thread wrap it and secure it down with the other hand and the thread. And then secure it down, I don't know, about three, four wraps, secure it down. And you want to pull the nymph skin down and kind of or pull on it, kind of stretch it and cut it off. And that'll make sure it's really close and doesn't cover up your eyelet. And then you want to secure that that uh, wing case down or the nymph skin. And then add from your head using a whip finish. Whip finish it twice. And that's it. You're done with this fly. That's an amazing fly. Okay, when we're done whip finishing this fly, we'll get to take a closer look at this fly. Okay, I think we're done. Let's check out the fly up close right now. I hope you like that our version of the the blue winged olive nymph we took this from many different sources and came up with what our version that we liked um, I did also rib this with gold wire and I'm gonna fish both I usually fish the black wire one which had a lot of success so we're gonna fish the gold wire one and uh, Make sure you look, watch our upcoming fishing videos to watch these flies in action. Once we start fishing, once the weather breaks here, it's kind of really cold yet. And fishing this fly, these, this, this, the black stone and the midges we covered, which here I'll put a link to this playlist so you can watch it later. Um, all these will be abundant in the water, um, in the spring, winter, um, the stones, the midges, all these, and you could fish them, man. I'd use this, you know, I like using strike indicators. You can urine them from, but I would put like maybe this stone fly on and then trail it with a midge or some other flies in a series. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do, because if not, you're going to miss some awesome upcoming tying videos. You don't want to do that. If you're watching this on Facebook, go here. Click to subscribe or wait to the end of this video where there'll be a little block right here. You can click to um, subscribe to our channel because you don't want to miss upcoming. We're going to do all the stages of a lot, cover a lot of flies from Hendrix, March Browns, from the nymph to the spinner. So I think the next one we're going to cover is a blue winged olive emerger. You don't want to miss these videos. So make sure you check out the links and materials and where to buy these materials and the links below. And make sure you check out all the Bass Pro Shops, Target, all them links. And uh, thank you for watching our videos. Tie some of these up. Get them on the end of your rod and do some winter fishing. Let me tell you what. The fish are rare in the winter, but you haven't lived until you caught an over 20-inch brown trout, native brown on one of these little 18 flies and you reel them in. It's amazing. You won't even believe it. It'll make a believer out of you in these small flies. So make sure you tie these up, take them to the creek, and if you do, there's an email below. Send us an email of pictures and stuff you call these flies and we'll share them on this on our videos. And one last thing is we're trying to build our email list. 
this email list when we build it, when we uh, you send us an e your email to our email below, and then we can offer you special deals when they come. Like sometimes Orvis makes a thirty percent off, a hundred dollars sale or more. We can let you know. So send us your email, and we can spend you, send you special offers and all kinds of stuff. So make sure you do that. Email us, send us your email. So we can start building our email list, send you special deals and everything. So thank you for watching our videos. Like always, you can check out other videos in the playlist. And we got a video that's just for you right there. I mean, that goes by what you watch the most. That is just for you. And a subscribe right here. And don't forget to click the subscribe, click the bell so you get notifications every time we release a new video. And you won't miss any of these series coming up of all the flies we're going to cover. If you tie all these flies, cover all these flies, you'll be prepared. Keep your lines wet, out of the trees, and only give them fish a sore lip.